Hey guys, Hermione11 Reviews here, and today I am reviewing Wereworld Shadow of the Hawk by Curtis Joblin, distributed by Puffin Books. This is the third book in the series, and I find that it was an amazing installment of the series. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess I'm like, really, really. So. Okay, so, as many may not remember, because you probably haven't read Rage of Lions, you're probably like, hey, your reviews kind of give away the entire storyline, and I'm like, well, kinda, sorry. Um, so, as you may not remember, Drew has been placed in a gladiator competition for captured werelords on the island called Scoria. Now, it's led by uh, a lizard lord. Uh, Nate, oh, what's his name? I forgot his name. But, he was evil. I can tell you that much, he was very evil. <laughs> um, now, the gladiator ring, like where they fight, the arena, the arena, is called the Furnace, where he meets other Therianthropes, uh, a tiger lord, a, uh, an ape, a giant ape, a mammoth lord, well, a tiger lady, actually. And a hawk lady. Um, he befriends those therianthropes, but some of them he like he makes enemies with. Which one of them was an alligator lord, and was like, uh, I, yeah. But um, his newly found friends agree to help him escape, and they want to escape as well. Um, so he also befriends a hawk lady, which the werehawks are. Supposedly extinct, but really not. They're not. Um, I won't spoil anything else, but I will. Um, her name is Lady Shaw, or Saw. Um, she is a were, uh, werehawk, a hawk lady, um, and she plays a important role. We learn from her father that uh, she was, like, 16 and pregnant, and with, like, this ruggedly handsome sailor guy, um, that becomes important later, not in this book, pretty sure it's not in this book, but later, later, and, um, so they just, uh, he's like, yeah, we had to sell the child to a guy, and, um, that guy turned out to be, um, I'm not, I'm actually not gonna say anything. Well, yeah, they had to sell the child. This was, like, ten years uh, earlier. Ten-ish years earlier. And, yeah. Um, that's what happened, and that becomes extremely important later. Um, so, many other sites. If you can't tell, I also look at different sites to see what other people think of the book series. And, it's great reviews. Um, they give... Like, they rank it lower than Rage of Lions, which I think is wrong, because, uh, I mean, it was really good. Um, its prequel had 4.7 star, I mean, well, its preschool, blah, its prequel had 4.8 stars, um, but Shadow of the Hawk has 4.7, but Barnes & Noble, once again, ranks it at 5 stars, which I say, good for you, Barnes & Noble, you agree with me. But I just say 4.7. I found it better than Rage of Lions, but... And, like, it was amazing. But, I mean, it was kind of... Um... I mean, I kind of didn't... I don't know how to explain it, okay? I, I don't know how to explain it. it. Uh, well, I mean, probably because... Top of my book is just, like, not even. But that's because I was in a car ride. Long story short, I was nauseated. And reading it is not a good thing. Oh! That's... I was trying to remember something. Uh, let me see if I can find it real fast. Oh, yeah. Da -da. Da -da -da. It wasn't Count Kessler that was... 
Ah, I won't be bothered, but... Um, the tiger lady's name was Taboo. I remember that much. Um, yeah, Taboo. Sorry for that, like, silent parts of the Caribbean music. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I found it better than Range of Lions, as I said previously. Um, we got to see the were ladies. Oh, Whitley! <sighs> okay, Whit Whitley's my favorite character. If you can't tell yet, I mean, like... Whitley is kind of like me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, like, we see them more than once. They're all, like, fighting and being heroic and stuff. But, yeah. Um, so, you know, we see more and Whitley becomes an important stop. An important part in the story again. And, like, I guess good. Anyways. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am, because, let me tell you, I'm enjoying this series a lot. I am currently rereading Rage of Lions, and, woo, I'm getting past that slow part. I'm getting past it, but, you know. Uh, yeah. And movie studios, if you're watching. Auditions, two years, I'll be there. Alright, anyways. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and, um, up next is Nest of Serpents, and I'll talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe, I'm Hermione Levin Reviews, and this was Shadow of the Hawk. Bye!